My office puts a 1,000 piece puzzle in the break room. Oh, man. For everyone to work on. When finished, a picture of the puzzle is taken, displayed, and a new puzzle is put out. Although people work on the puzzles, I'm always the one who completes them. Nice. Am I good? Or should I let someone else know the sweet satisfaction of putting in that final piece? And that's from Puzzle in Cleveland, Ohio. Um, <sighs> this is a good question, but also I want to address the fact that you work at an office. We're hanging on the walls. A guest might come into your office to do business and see a fucking framed picture of just like a bunch of balloons. <laughs> it's like, that's, <laughs> that's pretty cool. You guys are really into balloons and... What is that? Ice cream? And that's uh that's the album cover of Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club band. Boy, you guys are into a lot of diverse topics, I see. I love this super cool Pixar slash Google workspace where the bosses are like, no, we don't care if you spend hours on end in the break yeah. room working on a puzzle. Whatever. We're well, cool it's a, here. It's a pu- it's a puzzle QA facility. Uh, so it is part of their here's what I would do. Fucking mix it up. Are you ready for this? When you're about to put in the final piece of the puzzle, put something underneath the puzzle, flip it over upside down, Mm -hmm. wait for someone to enter the room, and then put the last piece in. Oh, fuck. And they'll look at you and you'll just be like, that's how I do it. Fucking Bobby Budnick from Salute Your Short Style. I put the puzzle in. Like, I could put it together backwards. I feel like the picture is cheating. That is so And you become a fucking office legend. I have another way of doing a good, and that is, just when you're about to crush it, you call everybody in. Guys, come in here. I'm about to crush this puzzle. Folks, come in to watch you smush the puzzle. And you get that last piece, and you're like, here it goes. And you, like, hold it way up in the air like you're going to slam dunk it. Like, oh, and you're bringing your arm down. And everybody's, like, cheering and clapping because they're about to be set free from the puzz. And then you spring your arm down. But then your arm hooks and crooks, and you put it in your mouth, and you eat it. And then everybody's like, whoa, yo, James, what the fuck? And then you say, the final piece of the puzzle is you. (laughs) <laughs> teamwork and is the final piece. the final piece of the puzzle and everybody claps now you're the boss you've inspired everybody <laughs> and they take a picture of this this puzzle without a piece and all of a sudden it's like an office episode because it didn't go right but they learned something mm-hmm. why wouldn't they just frame the puzzle? why do they take a picture of the, is that for like so we could do it again later uh, do they have that few puzzles yeah we gotta keep this this is a fucking prima strategy guide on balloon <laughs> puzzle what if we get a picture as a reference for the next time? Like it looks like this when it's done. That, that'd be sick if I fucking worked at an office and they had me put together a thousand piece balloon puzz, and it took me a month. And then all of a sudden they brought in, like, guess what? Same balloon puzz. I'd be like, fuck yeah! All right, guys, let's get it together. We know the green one's there at the bottom left, and let's just work from there. I can't imagine. I can't imagine. I think being the person to finish the puzzle, I get it. Yeah. Can you imagine being the person to start the puzzle? What would be worse than that? Like, if I see a pile of puzzle pieces, I'm just going to keep on walking. There's Mm -hmm. no words on heaven or earth that's going to make me start the sorting process. Unless you find those tasty corners. You find those corners, and then all of a sudden you're like, my work here is done. Everything you do will be built on the back of my major accomplishment here. I am now the, now I'm the puzzle master. You know, um, ooh. That's what you, when you get to that last piece, you take that last piece, you go out in the office and you find the person who's been having a rough time. Maybe like they just lost the big account and you walk up to them and you like kind of flip it to them like you're flipping them a quarter and you're like, you need this more than I do. And, and like it f- they, it fucking they get in their to coffee. smush the puzz. They can smush the puzz. <laughs> yeah. One thing that you could do is um, take early on in the process, steal one piece of the puzz mm-hmm. and then um, put it in a giant sack of foam waffles and make them like slip around and f- look nice. for it that's how um mark summers invented double dare uh at his office and he got fired for that but then he got a job at double dare so it all, it all worked it out. all worked out in the end mm-hmm. uh, another thing you could do is buy go to spencer's gifts mm-hmm. and bring bring like a hundred dollars because you're going to want to purchase a lot of fun stuff in there but you buy a sexy erotic puzz um just like a good doing it puzz and then everybody's putting together this balloon puzz at work and then you go in to finish it you shut and lock the doors you throw that balloon puzz away and you put down this finished sex puzz and then when people come in you'd be like yeah i guess we just couldn't see it until it was finished but damn I, damn jerry you picked up a pretty fucking erotic puzz bud <laughs> A lot of hunks in this puzz. A lot of hunks. A, hunky, a lot of tr- a hunky, hunky puzz. A lot of, a lot of fucking 
trouser dogs in this one, huh, bud? <laughs> hey, hey, Jerry, this this pus was called Western Pleasure. That's How actually not wild, man. Figure that out. I mean, it's fucking good. It's tasteful and like very like <laughs> sexy, very but like. I also thought it was going to be balloons. I'm as surprised as anyone right. here. Yeah. I thought balloons until the moment I put the dick one in. And then and this one piece did have the dick in it. Then you fucking reach down, you pop a piece out, and you shift the rest of the puzzle a little bit. It's fucking one of those lentricular, ventricular dealies, and all of a sudden it turns into balloons as soon as you pop that one piece out. What mm-hmm. is this sorcery? 